Alright, what up guys? Candyman TGFB here, and today I'm finally back on Minecraft doing a solo series here. And the two mods that I'm playing today are Disease Craft and Qdom, the Ancient Ruins of Arg, I believe is how you say it. And Disease Craft is self explanatory. You get, there's just a bunch of diseases in the game that you can get from just getting bit by like a freaking black rat, a mosquito over exploring and a whole bunch of stuff you can get diseases from that and then the other mod is an RPG type mod where it has the XP base leveling system attribute points thirst spells randomly generated structures and a bunch of new items and blocks and every 10 experience levels you get you level up once and get one attribute point which you can put in here in your strength speed and mana Strength is clearly you do more damage and less encumbrance from armor. It's because when you have leather, don't get slowed down that much. Then diamond, of course, they're going to be like a beached whale trying to walk. Speed, clearly you go faster. And then there's the lock picking skill of speed. And then mana lets you cast the spells. But in order to get the spells, you have to find them in dungeons or cities, I believe. But first, we need to actually start exploring here and make a house somewhere around here or try to find a village in the next hundred blocks or so. And if we can't find a little village or a abandoned shit shack, we're going to just have to throw a house somewhere. I'm trying to see if I can just see like maybe the tops of a village but there's so many damn trees I can't see it doesn't really matter because we're gonna be constantly moving anyways oh never mind we just hit a hardcore ocean we're gonna be constantly moving so we don't really don't need to build a really big house so let's just get some food quick here and you can get a disease from eating raw pork, like 50% of the time. So, I'm not going to be able to eat any raw food. Or I'll get sick or whatever and die. And when you die with the RPG mod, you lose like all your experience of course, but you don't lose your actual level. So, dying is a... It's annoying if you die, but it doesn't really screw you over. It's just going to take a lot longer to level up the next time then. Because you have to clearly go from 1 to, let's say, 70 if you were already a level 7. And I believe 100, well, level 10 is the max level, I believe. Okay, so 21 pork should be good. Oh, hell yeah. And we found a village. We got some cows so I can start to make some armor. And if you over-explore, wow, nice spawn. You guys are growing your crops in the ocean I see here pretty nice I think this is one of the generated ones from the mod I believe because I got the fancy stuff here wow these pipe this dude just dropped a whole bunch of stuff all right we need a lot of leather cows here you need to start dropping some more let's see what we got going on here um, is this a house in a house here I don't know what this is. What the hell? Dude, just dropping down. What's your name, dude? Yo. Yo. Can you talk to him? No, he just keeps walking. Alright, I see how it is. You got your little guard there. I, all the houses have this stuff in them. Oh, I'll give back my torch. Oh, you can trade. Let's see. Yep, nothing. Not trade any of that stuff to you. More cows here. A random chest. What is this? This looks like. Oh, I almost just hit that guard. You destroyed my soul. Oh, we got the tavern. Look at these fancy ass chairs, dude. Oh, well, can we buy stuff from you? What do you got here? Oh, a key. 
whole bunch of keys here. What was that? You can buy ale? Who just said that? Is that your name? Strange things are happening. You better not be like going cray cray trying to kill me. Oh, sweet. Got some lock picks, some water. This, that's all Duke can say is strange things, man. Strange things are happening here. Oh, some more cows. Okay, let's see what's in this chest here. Hopefully it's something good here we got. Map of the Sword of Beheading. And then a scroll. I'm not sure... Okay. My long search for the Sword of Beheading is nearing an end. Before embarking on the last quest, I'll record down my knowledge of its whereabouts on this map. Alright. X marks the spot. So this will take. This is actually pretty sweet. So if you find these random generated villages, it seems like they're going to have a chest in the middle of the thing with a scroll for. One of like the little powers and then shows you where the dungeon is. What up, cow? Thanks for keep coming over here to die. Give me the leather I need. Is there a crafting table in here? Um, no. We have a furnace, but I don't have anything to cook my food. Dinner time, you serving for free? I got no money, so I'll sit down if you want to serve. 32 gold nuggets, though. Alright, let's explore the, the village a little more here. What do we got in there? Um, let's grab some dirt quick. Just so I can hop up. So gold for an anvil, iron chest, shovel, the basic spear, can we steal from you? Okay, we need a key for that. Stealing people's food? Okay, here's a crafting table. Let's just go with chest plate. For now, we need a key for that, and I, since I didn't level up yet, I don't think you can, my lock picking. Oh, and I just wasted two lock picks, I think, shit. Okay, we'll put the lock picks away, I don't want to accidentally use those. Oh yeah, but now since we're somewhat safe, I can go over the guide here. This is for... The RPG mod. It just says, the player is subject to thirst and dehydration. He has to drink once a day to keep negative effects away. If he becomes dehydrated, this maximum food level drops to 1.5, which prevents health regeneration. And then the player is subject to encumbrance, which I already explained is the armor thing, slows you down. Then the level system, and I showed you how you can the, show the stats or whatever when you hold C. Press C, you don't gotta hold it really, because you really don't need anything to see because I didn't level up yet. The strength, I already explained, speed I explained, mana I explained, and yeah, pretty much explained the RPG mod pretty good. But here is the disease, all the diseases that you can get at this time. He said he's going to update it, so influenza, nausea, weakness, drowsiness, fatigue, transform from players to zombies, treatable. But we're never going to be able to treat any of these diseases because I feel like it is going to be a bitch and a half to make a cure for any of them. And I'd rather just die. Rabies. Same thing. Nausea. Hydrophobia. Transferred from wolves. Mortality rate 50%. So if you get rabies, it's looking pretty sad. A plague here. Nausea, weakness, drowsiness. And here it is. Raw animal meat. 50% mortality only, so I'm not going to even take the chance of eating any 
raw meat whatsoever. Malaria, nausea, fatigue, weakness, transfer from mosquitoes, in a hot climate, 50% mortality as the other ones are. This one, the bubonic plague, nausea, weakness, drowsiness from the black rat. 75% chance. It's not looking very good. Parkinson's, and then you get butterfingers and jittering, transferred from over-exploring. Now, I hope I never over-explore because I feel like that'd be really annoying to have this. Yellow fever, symptoms, nausea, weakness, drowsiness, fatigue, transferred from mosquitoes in a hot climate as the same with um, malaria, I think it was, and 50%, and then these are just the cures and stuff. But let's let's actually I need more armor before I don't really want to go in a dungeon this low level. But um I don't really think we have a choice. I feel like I'm just gonna kill some more cows, cut down a couple more trees here. And Probably try to get myself a stone sword. Because I don't want to be going into a dungeon. The wood sword and no armor. And I don't know about the over exploring thing. I don't know if you actually have to sleep or not. To uh, like have the effect go away. Or like to not over explore, or if you just have to not move for a little bit. Because I really don't understand the whole over exploring thing. Because you never, I feel like you never want to sleep. It doesn't really matter, just, it would be annoying, but supposedly, if your screen starts like shaking or something, I swear, that would be the most annoying thing ever. Like that should be... Plenty of wood. Let's go use that dude's crafting table again. Oh, what's in this room? Are you serious right now? We can just take all this stuff? Sweet. Alright, so we got a free helmet. Don't even need to make another sword now. Oh, and it's nighttime now. Here's our pick. I can make... Some more armor here. I have a pick. I need. This. I got coal finally, so I can start cooking. All right. Well, let's close that door. I didn't take anything, dude. You're good. Don't worry. All your stuff's still in that chest back there. Let's throw you. Cook you. Some pants. Well, I think it's gonna kind of suck is I'm gonna have to carry all this stuff around all the time. Oh shit! I need water. Forgot about this. Was there? Okay, there's a well I can take from. Fill it up. Okay. So we're good. I drank my water. This should still be cooking. There's no door. So hopefully I can sleep. This bed doesn't look like it's going to work though. Huh, it actually worked. Sweet. So now, daybreak. Start getting my cooked pork. We don't need these books anymore. I already know what those are. Name tags, useless. The wood's okay. Potato. Put you over there. Lava bucket's useless. I don't need that. Well, I wait for this to 
cook. I'll probably end up coming back to this village anyways. Let's just... Oh, never mind. That's really far away. Let's just go try to find some cows and stuff. To kill. Try to get more leather. What are you doing here, dude? Oh, I see you got a nice fancy table set up. You actually have to sit in the ground to eat? That's actually pretty sweet there. What's your name, dude? What? What's your name, man? Does it say Shakespeare? It keeps disappearing right away. Shakespeare, oh my god. Alright. I need to actually... You know what? It is pretty far away, but... I don't mind walking that far. I'm gonna miss out on a lot of food, but... I want to see what these... Dungeons look like. There's plenty of cows over here. I need to finish off my armor, even though... Oh, he didn't even drop anything? 